I mean, you talk about a centralized health dictatorship, 1,961 different grants of power to one bureaucrat. Mr. Speaker, good to see you again. Good to be back. What are the three most important things Congress must do now? Well, I think Congress has to focus, particularly the House Republicans who have a majority and can actually do something, uh, have to focus on jobs and creating jobs, getting the economy moving again. They have to focus on repealing Obamacare because the nation demands it and our future demands it. Uh, and I believe they have to systematically cut spending to move us back towards a balanced budget and to get government under control and to cut spending in a way that begins to rebuild the Tenth Amendment and return power to the states and the people thereof. House Republicans will repeal Obamacare. Uh, it's going to die in the Senate and certainly the President. Well, but I think people who want to repeal Obamacare should target the 23 Democratic senators up for re-election and create petition drives in all 23 states and begin to really build pressure on the Senate to follow so you the don't House's think lead. So you don't think a repeal in the House is just mere symbolism at this point? No, I think as, you know, the Center for Health Transformation is about to issue a report that the Secretary of Health and Human Services has 1,961 grants of power in the Obamacare bill. I mean, you talk about a centralized health dictatorship, 1,961 different grants of power to one bureaucrat. Uh, the fact is that the uh, General Accounting Office estimates that Obamacare involves a minimum of $15 trillion in cuts for doctors, hospitals, and senior citizens. And I think that uh, as people get to understand all that, the House should immediately move from repealing Obamacare to a series of hearings. The hearing should be designed to maximize public pressure for repeal on the Senate. This is an issue that, that will be, I think, one of the centerpieces of 2012. And it's very important the country understand how bad this bill is and how potentially destructive it is. In addition to a repeal, are there things uh, or steps House Republicans can take to bring Obamacare, the implementation, to a crawl? Well, I mean, the first thing the House Appropriations Committee can do is simply cut off all funding and make it impossible to implement any provision of the bill. And if the House uh, passes Obamacare repeal by the size margin, I think it will. I think they'll have the moral standing to say, we're not going to spend money on this. Uh, the president can veto our bill or he can block our bill in the Senate, but we don't have to give him a penny to implement it. And I think you'll see that fight begin to emerge probably in, in um, April and May.